Hi, Chris. Hey, Zach. You ready for another summer at camp? I'm pretty psyched. I hear that the Olympic athlete, Jason Rogers, is going to be teaching fencing this year. Awesome. Yeah, I heard that too. Welcome to Camp On Guard, everyone. For this morning's activity, we're going to be learning the fine art of fencing. Fencing is a sport of strategy and skill, and most importantly, it's a chance to practice being good teammates with one another. Sweet, you're going down, Zach. I'm stronger than you any day. Jeez, I hate this. I feel like such a wimp. Look, guys, there's a whole different way to think about competition. It's not about being tough guys, beating each other. It's about learning and practicing so you can be your own best self. Zach, you're not a wimp. You're trying and you're growing your skills every day. And Chris, it's much better for your team and for your own self-esteem to show that you care about and support your teammates. Should we try again? Okay, sounds good. Oh, I'm sorry I was disrespectful, Zach. That wasn't cool. Oh man, Chris, do you remember when you got so scared last year during the Campfire Ghost Stories? You almost peed your pants. It was hilarious. Whatever, dude. I wasn't scared. Whoa, whoa, guys. Feeling scared is nothing to be ashamed of. It's part of healthy human emotions and boys should feel totally normal for having those feelings. Now, who's going to tell the next ghost story? Dude, Zach, are you crying? Come on, it's just a care package. Are you homesick? You gotta man up. Leave me alone, Chris. I'm not crying. Hey guys, it's totally okay to cry when we're sad or upset. When society tells boys they should be tough and man up, it promotes negative gender role stereotypes and it's really damaging. All human beings have a range of feelings and emotions and it's healthy and natural for people to express those no matter how they identify their gender. Does that make sense? Now, are you going to share one of those homemade Rice Krispie treats with me or what? Hey Chris, what's up? Is that Amber rowing out in the canoe? Dude, I'm so embarrassed. She came over to me and asked me if I wanted to go make out in the woods and I just froze. I got so nervous, I didn't even know what to do. I think I like her, but I'm not sure I'm ready to kiss her. Ugh, I'm never going to live this down. She's never going to look at me again. Hey Chris, remember the other day when I talked about those negative gender role stereotypes? This is the same thing. There's no reason that you should feel pressure to perform or be a certain way sexually. It takes time and patience to figure these things out, and the people that care about you understand. Boys need to know that they have time and space to figure out their sexuality, and not to feel pressure by peers or society. Thanks, Jason. That makes me feel a little better. All right, campers. It's the last day. Remember all the things we talked about this summer and just focus on being your own best self. Stand up to the pressures of negative gender role stereotypes and have a great school year. Thanks, Jason. See you next summer. And Zach, give me a call when you get back home, okay? Sounds great, Chris. Maybe we can start a club at school to help the other kids stand up to these stereotypes, too. Mm -hmm.